friends, welcome back for another cash stuffing. Today we are stuffing my full-time paycheck for the second week of January. We didn't have a side hustle paycheck last week and honestly I'm not sure we're going to have one this upcoming week either because I know I'll make money in my shop but I have put a lot of things on my credit card to get ready for my relaunch. So anticipate there not being a filming of stuffing. Um, money for next week for my side hustle or for this week for my side hustle because I'm probably going to have to put it all towards my credit card to pay it off. So we'll be back hopefully in week three with the side hustle stuffing. All right, so we should have $318 here. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240. 245, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, 275, 280, 285, 290, 295, 300, 305, and 310, 311, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 318. All right, so we're going to start with my new Notique wallet. I have started putting things in it, which reminds me I need to flip something around. All right. So yes, this is my new wallet that I unveiled last time. I've used it for a week now and so far so good. It's starting to like set in a little bit more, but I another couple weeks will be good. So we are going to just go to my envelopes and see what we have left, if anything. Groceries is completely empty. Eating out has some money left in it. It has a $5 bill. Spending has a dollar left, and then fun has a five. So that is going to be it for unstuffing my wallet. So we have $11 left, and we get to put those into my $1 and $5 savings. So we'll start with the fives. Well, this will be our first contribution for the year, which is exciting. And then the $1, go right in here. And these will be restocked in my relaunch, which I can't remember. I think this video posts after my shop relaunches. Um, I couldn't get these exact pouches again, so I got ones that are really similar. Um, but the photo of them will be on my list. Well, first I'm gonna list only these because those I just ordered today and they won't be here probably by Monday, but when they do get here, I'll upload like a picture of those. Um, they look more like this one than they do this, but they're all I can find. These aren't back in stock till March, so yeah. Okay, so now I don't know why I shut this because we were just going to restuff it. We have upped groceries today to $70, and I don't know why I do this column because I always unstuff it. Um... But we are going to do $70 because I'm going to get um, an every plate box, which is a meal service kind of like HelloFresh that I'm doing right now. So that's $50, $70. About $50 of that will probably go to every plate, and the other $20 will just be for other things I might need throughout the week, like milk or whatnot. Eating out is going to get $30, which I'll do a $20, I think, and a $10. Let's try that. And then spending, I'm only giving myself $10 this week because I don't think I'll really need it. And we're going to do a 10 for that. And then fun, we'll get 20. And it is currently Thursday night, but I don't have time to film this on Friday, which is when I usually do it. Um, and I want to have a little bit of money for the weekend. So we're going to do two 10s for 20 into fun. So that is it for my wallet. Next, we're going to do my cash envelopes, which is in my gray binder, which is one of my newest ones. Um, we're only stuffing a few envelopes again because I don't have a ton of money to work with because I'm trying to get one month ahead on my bills. Um, so clothes, we still only have $70 and we're not contributing to it. Date night, I'm pretty sure has 45 if I remember correctly. Yes. 
And then I think Fitness and Wellness has like 15. But I can't fully remember. Yes, 15. Gas today, we're just gonna add $15 because I have a good amount in here already. So we'll add the 15. And now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70. So that is good. Giving, we're gonna give that a dollar. So we have 20, 40, 50, and 60. No, 20, 40, 41, and 42. It's like, that's not right. So that's giving. Going out, I'm pretty sure has 125. Yes, indeed it does. So 125 in there. Hosting is just getting a dollar today. So now it has two, and this is one of my newest categories. Household is gonna get five because I did have to use a bit of this this week, so I wanna put a little bit back. So now we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. I bought some like dryer sheets, face wash, things like that. It's just kind of a toiletries plus whatever I need around the house envelope. Medical is actually empty. I spent finally the last bit of my flexible spending from last year, and I still need to figure out what I have for this year to spend. So I'll be restuffing that soon. And then self-care is going to get $5 today because I want to get ready for my next haircut. That has $25. And then spending isn't getting anything, but I also spent some money out of that. I needed a new phone case and I bought something else, but I forget. But I have $20, 30 35 36 and $37. And you'll see I spent my Amazon gift card because that is where I got my phone case from. So that is it for my cash envelopes. And I do believe all my trackers are updated. Yes, so I did go ahead and fill those out. So that's it. Next up, we'll do my bills, which is in my pink binder. And this is for me to try and get one month ahead on my bills. We are already one month ahead on rent and utilities. So that is at 863 and my phone bill, which is at 60. So I want to do gym membership next, which needs $50 because that's $50 a month. So now that is fully funded for the month of February. My Roth RA isn't getting stuff today and it has nothing in it. Oops. Right now, Apple Care is just going to get $1. These envelopes are very fresh. So that has $1 for now. We'll finish funding that, I think, next week. Insurances have zero, iCloud has zero, and small groups has zero. We're gonna hit up those the next couple weeks. And nonprofit support or my monthly giving. So next is Hulu, which is $7 a month. It's actually $6.99, but we have five, six, and seven. And so Hulu will be fully funded for February. And I'm actually watching um, this is us on Hulu right now. And then one week ahead, we're going to finish funding for January just to get it out of the way. So that is going to get $20, $35. And this should be enough for January, which means it should have 165. So we have 50, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So we are fully funded for January, which is this month. Um, so we'll use this for week five and then starting like anything else we add to this is we're going to start filling out this tracker because I need $660 to get me through April, June, maybe September, maybe in December. I don't know. There's four more months where I need a fifth week. So that's that on that. So that is it for my bill binder. We stuffed $93 in there today. Next, we are going to do my sinking funds. We are going to start in my yellow binder. Birthdays is going to get $5 today. And we are stuffing for my first friend's birthday, which is in March. So we have 20, 25, and 30. And I wanna save $50 for her birthday. 
Electronics today is going to get $5 and you'll see a little something new in here. So I heard on, I think it was Her Budgets channel, like the channel's called Her Budgets. Um, and she mentioned that the $1,000 placeholder slips are actually known as ancestor money or ancestral money um, in some cultures. And so, and it's a way to like, I believe pay respect to ancestors or wish them good luck and um, it has like cultural meaning and so I started feeling weird about using it. So I decided to go ahead and make my own placeholders and this is like what the 1001 would look like. And then um, I haven't put a sticky on it yet but this is like the clear version if you'd rather clear the matte but I kind of like the way the matte looks. So I'm going to be replacing all my prop money with my own prop money and then I'll be selling this in my Etsy shop. Um, Etsy, when I was trying to sell these, took down my listing because it like looked like I was selling counterfeit money, but this doesn't look anything like money, so I'm hoping they won't take that down, and it's the same size as a dollar bill, and it's flexible, so I really like it, so anyway, that's what this is, and you'll see it completely switched out eventually. Um, this was just a, a demo for my listing photos that I'm taking, so now in electronics, we have 100, 200, 250, 260, no, 255 and 260. Am I okay? 260 in electronics. And I just ordered my wet erase pens, so soon I will be able to actually fill out these trackers with y'all. But they won't be here until like Wednesday. Family is not getting anything, and it just has $20. Pink X Budget Silver Challenge, we are not starting until February, but it, it will be for my furniture category, which is getting $5 today. So we now have $10 in there. Next up is Future, which is going to get $5. So we have 150, 70, 75, 80. I don't trust myself anymore. So 180 in future, which is good. And then holidays is next. I finally did print the stickers for my dividers that are going in here and going in birthdays. I just haven't assembled them yet, um, but they will be in here by the next stuffing. So holidays is gonna get $5, which right now is for Valentine's Day. So now we have 10. Planner isn't going to get anything, and that has $35, I'm pretty sure. Subscriptions, I believe, has $19. And then Vacation has $500. So this is what the $500 placeholder looks like. Same thing. And I also printed these labels. I just haven't, again, had time to assemble them, but literally the vinyl is behind me on my bed, so I'll be weeding that tonight or tomorrow. Volleyball is going to get $8. So that's the rest of the ones, five, six, seven, and eight. So now let's see what we've got. We have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110, and 111. Lots of ones. So that's good. And then weddings and babies is not getting anything. And honestly, I don't remember what's in here. We have 150, 55, and 60, so 160. Which I think is the same that electronics has right now. No, electronics is 260. All right, so that is it for the yellow binder. Last up, we have big blue, and we are adding $10 to car maintenance today. Which, these are some bundles that are available on my Etsy shop, which is back up and running. I No. Yes, it is back up and running by the time this video goes up. So you can buy these bundles on my shop in this size or in the smaller A6 size. So we are adding to my emergency fund today this very crisp $10 bill. So now an emergency fund, we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, and 265. And I always need my calculator for this because we have 100 in oil changes and 250 in deductible. So that means we have in total $615 for car maintenance. 
which is exciting. I think when I reach 300 in this, I'm going to switch and do my car tags because they're due in like June. And then I'll switch back and go back to my emergency fund. Christmas is next and we are putting in $5 for Christmas. This is my tab bundle version. And we are just gonna add it right in here for my parents' gifts. So now it has 10 and we will work on the other categories later. So $10 for Christmas 2022. Next up is my Europe trip that I'm taking next year. That is gonna just get $5. And I also printed tabs for this, so that will be in here next time as well. So now we have 10. And I will have to think through my budget for that, but I'm probably not gonna get to that till next month. My moving one though, I'm gonna try really hard to do in January. So moving today is going to get $10. That's kind of more of my priority right now because I'll be moving before the Europe trip, obviously. So that's also getting a crisp 10. So now I'm moving, we have 100, 200, $300 in the bank, and then 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So 355, and the goal is 2000 on this. So I gotta pick it up. And then last but not least is my seasonal activities bundle, which is just fun to look at. And that is going to get $5 into my spring envelope. And we have 100 in winter. And then we have 10, 15, 20, and 25. So we have 125 in total saved for seasonal activities. So we are a quarter of the way done saving for spring, which is exciting. So... That is gonna do it for today, short and sweet, which is kind of a relief. I feel like I've done nothing but film and edit videos. So excited to have this done for the week and I'll catch you in my week three full-time cash in cash. Whoa. And I'll see you in my next video, which is my week three full-time income cash stuffing. Because again, I'm probably gonna have to put all the money I make on Etsy this week to my credit card. So I'll see y'all then, bye. Thank you.